Arpita ma'am, with your permission, shall we start the session? Madam, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Yeah. We, yeah. start. we yeah. start. We shall, ma'am. So people are getting inside. So let them get connected. We'll start. Okay. So now what do you judge? To be inspired is great, but to be an inspiration is an honor. Your pleasant good afternoon to everyone gathered here. I take this privilege to warmly welcome all our delegates and participants. My soul heartily welcomes you all on the behalf of DPT Star Scheme, Ratanavil Subramaniam College of Arts and Science, Solo, Cointre. The Department of Biochemistry cordially invites you for the national level seven days FTP on prospects and retrospects in life sciences. Welcome is to be show honor. Now I would like to call our respected HOD ma'am, Mr. Shamina, to give the welcome address. Good afternoon to all, one and all present here. So this is our final session, 14th session of the seven days national level virtual FDP on prospects and retrospects in life science. And in this beautiful session, we have an young and dynamic lady with us. For the second time, we are virtually connecting. The Department of Biochemistry at Ethanavil Subramaniam College is virtually connecting with this lady virtu that through virtual mode. So first, I need to thank you, madam, because for the second time, you, without any ne negligence, you just accepted for presenting your presentation in this national level FDP. So we welcome you, ma'am. And she is none other than, I need to introduce Dr. Erpita Chatterjee, Head Department of Botany, Barshad College, West Bengal State University, West Bengal, India. And we are very much eager to hear your topic regarding the Gemini Viridae, the diversity plant virus family. So happy to welcome you, ma'am, on behalf of, the, behalf of the biochemistry department. Welcome. Once again, I welcome you, ma'am. Always do your best. What you plan now, you will harvest later. It's my pleasure to invite Mrs. Lalita Ma'am, Department of Biochemistry, to give introduction about Chief Guest Dr. Advita Chatterjee. Thank you, Joy Ma'am. On behalf of Management, Dignities, Department of Biochemistry, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce our Chief Guest, Dr. Advita Chatterjee, Head. Department of Botany, Bresap College, West Bengal. She did her UG degree in 1998 from Presidency College, University of Calcutta. Completed her master degree in 2000 from Calcutta University. Dr. Radhika Chatterjee focused her specialization in plant physiology, biochemistry, and molecular biology. She obtained her doctorate in 2017 in the field of movement therapy from Rabita Bharti University. She also awarded doctorate degree in 2008 in the field of molecular virology from Calcutta University. She has published more than 80 research articles both in national and international journals. She had received higher position in various aspects, received ICR Research Associateship in 2004, ICR Senior Research Fellowship in 2002. She also qualified GATE exam in 2002 in life science. She has received lots of national scholarship during her academic prospects. Apart from academic, she is also involved in various environmental awareness programs organized by government, non-government and private sectors. Such a young and energetic personality is here to share her knowledge with us. Once again, on behalf of all, I welcome you ma'am for this session. Thank you. Pita ma'am, and I want to introduce one famous personality who has been connected with us, Dr. Nahrani ma'am, the research dean of RVS College of Health Sciences. Madam, we welcome you on behalf of the biochemistry ma'am. Nahrani ma'am. Ma'am, can you hear us? 
Can you hear me? Yeah, ma'am. It's perfect. You can open your video also. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, sure, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity. Very happy to. Yeah, madam. You can say a few words about our session and you can talk to her with madam also. Just I joined. I listen to her for a while. Okay. I'll come back. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, madam. Arpita, ma'am, she is a former principal of the Physiotherapy College of uh, RVS, as well as now as a dean and whole the health sciences she is taking care. She is Dr. Narani. She has a very uh, long experience in our RVS institutions, nearly about, madam, 40 years, right? Am I right? 29. Yeah, 29 years. <laughs> okay, ma'am. So, without taking much of your time, Arpita, ma'am, we want to hand over the session to you. You can continue, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Ratnavil uh, College of Arts and Science for inviting me in this beautiful uh, FDP program. And special thanks to Dr. Shamina, Head Department of Biochemistry of that college, for inviting me and giving me the facility uh, to talk before this beautiful audience. OK, thank you. Thank you very much. OK. But uh, you're welcome, without wasting much more time, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, I just want to share my PPT and start my talk uh, without wasting time. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. You can take uh, a me, You can present. Give me a few minutes so that I can share. Yeah, okay. Yeah, ma'am. Is it is it perfect? Yes, ma'am. It's perfect. You can continue. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is the last presentation, I think, in this whole FDP. So maybe some of you are tired by listening with many topics in this faculty development program. Though I know it was a very beautiful session you have in all these days. Okay. Today, I am going to present the topic Gemini BDD, the devastating plant virus family. Uh, as we all know, the family Gemini BDD, commonly known as Gemini viruses, are important plant virus family and perhaps it's the second largest family of plant virus and the most devastating plant virus family having the single standard DNA. Okay. This virus is mainly, mainly uh, means, uh, cause devastating effect and economic loss in tropical and subtropical countries. And uh, it uh, causes many different types of symptoms in plants. And by nature, it is a class 2 virus. And it has small non veloped structure with two or one single standard genome either consisting of only DNA A or with DNA A, DNA B particle and this genome size is 
mostly 2.5 to 5.2 kb most of the viruses has within 3 kb structure some of them is larger than that and they encode genes that diverse in both direction that is they are ambisense in nature so these gemini viridae family are divided mainly in nine genera nine genera and it consists of 485 species okay this virus is has a uh, four comoptera vector okay that is white fly that is bemsia tabasi leaf hopper that is cycadulinia tree hoppers like urimeloides and aphids these four homopteria vectors act as their carrier this virus infect both monocot and dicot plants okay and the symptoms it is diver divergent type it is maybe a yellow mosaic yellow vein mosaic leaf crumpling leaf curling stunting weakness of plants yellow mottling type and reduced yield okay uh, dr shamina is it properly uh, visible and audible yeah ma'am it's visible and audible no issues okay, okay. okay. now i am uh, going to show you some of the uh, symptoms in cash crops caused by these gemini viruses after that i will go for the genome structures and properties of these viruses okay look this is a symptom of yellow curl means tomato leaf curl disease actually uh, among the gemini viruses the largest genus is begonia virus this disease is caused by a begonia virus which is named as tomato leaf curl virus look in the field the every crop is infected among causing uh, the yellow vein mosaic type of symptom leaf curling disease is there in the insect you can see the germinate particle of that virus is here you can see the tomato leaf curl disease here the fruit size please see that fruit size is very reduced it is teeny size so the tomato cultivars is really reluctant to uh, cultivate this type of crop when this virus is in the field okay in right hand side of the slide you can see another type of symptom that is tomato yellow leaf curl disease this is a uh, means a uh, same type of gemini virus disease with different strain infection and uh, they cause yellowing with along with the leaf curl symptom okay and in the left hand you can see yellow mosaic disease of euphorbia sp this is another disease caused by gemini viruses that is also begonia viruses in bindi crop that is lettuce finger and here you can see insert in the insert you can see the lettuce finger the size is very reduced and thin so uh, when this uh, disease uh, came the farmers are really dying to overcome with that situation and that was very 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 dangerous and it really infect the cash crops and the farmers is really suffering for that you can see this symptom in cotton plant that is cotton leaf curl virus and it is the first uh, leaf curl disease uh, explained genomically uh, in a uh, um, in case of gemini virus family here you can see the cotton leaf is curled in nature and the capsule actually the capsule is very reduced in size due to infection of these viruses and sometimes the fiber yields is minimum okay in case of cotton leaf curl virus we can see nearly 80% 60 to 80% reduction of yield in the farmer's field in few years ago you can uh, all uh, learn, can heard that there is a serious disease came in cotton field so the cotton farmers are going to die for that purpose and this is the disease this is the disease this is the deadly gemini virus disease caused by bingo virus cotton leaf curl virus it has different types of strain which is causing different types of symptoms in cotton plants and reduction of yield in cotton okay you can see another two uh, symptom you know caused by gemini viridae family here the 
Kadika papaya means papaya plant. See the leaf in left hand side. It is totally curled. Curling and crumpling. Both symptoms are present with some yellowing in nature. And second one is tobacco. This virus actually caused tobacco leaf curl disease. And actually it the white fly vector harbors inside this tobacco plant. So tobacco leaf curl disease is common in tobacco field causing by this family. Okay. Here we can see different pulses infected by Gemini viruses. Uh, in the upper side, left hand, you can see the Dolichos lap lap, that is the shim plant. Second one is Mugdal, Bigna Mungo. And in lower two part, you can see Bigna Ambelet and Bigna Angui Kilita. These lower two symptoms is rip complex type of symptom. The upper part, you have yellow mosaic type of symptom. Okay, so these virus also infected majority of the pulses and causing severe damage in pulse field. See, this is a picture of pulse field drain legume infected with these Gemini viruses. Here you can see the whole field become yellow. Here we can't see any yellow, I mean uh, green niche part. Chlorosis is the main symptom like that and for that you can see this yellowing, yellowing vein, vein mosaic type of symptom caused by this Gemini family. Now, this is a symptom produced in fiber crops. In upper two part, you can see Hibiscus cannabinus and Hibiscus subderifa. Actually, Hibiscus cannabinus is commonly known as enough plant and Hibiscus subderifa is commonly known as Rosel plant. This kinaf and rosel both are cumulatively known as mista. The virus is mista yellow vein mosaic virus. Actually, uh, I worked under on that virus, and it is a world new recombinant virus, which is reported by our groups. And uh, this virus causes heavy reduction of yield, 90% uh, up to 90% reduction of fiber yield you can notice due to infection of this virus. In the lower two part, you can see Corturus capsularis and Corturus asturians. These two are jute plant, okay? These uh, Gemini viridae family also infect jute and causing jute mosaic diseases, okay? Okay, these are the uh, pictures. These were the pictures of different types of symptoms caused in cash crops. So, uh, actually, uh, 20 years ago when these viruses was really devastating in nature. Now we have some uh, remedy for that. I am coming later on that field. What is the nature of this virus? Actually, this uh, virus is a twine icosahedral capsid in nature. Just like a knot, the two icosahedral just join each other having size 20 to 30 nanometer into 30 nanometer structure. Okay. In, in, in Mesta plant, we have uh, seen such similar type of uh, nature. Here, the icosahedral uh, capsid is measured 30 nanometer into 20 nanometer structure using 2% uranyl assisted staining in 10 transmission electron microscopy. Okay. Regarding the genome property, these viruses is either one or two single standard ambition circular DNA. Okay, and the genome size, as we have already said, that 2.7 to 3 kb mean majority of the cases. Some of the viruses is larger, having up to size of 5.2 kb. Okay, the virus that is a positive strand forms a complementary negative strand that is left-handed in uh, circulation and it forms RF model inside the host, okay? But by nature, this virus is single standard DNA virus, okay? Regarding the classification of these viruses, as I have, we have already said that this virus has nine genus and four 85 species. The largest genus is known as Bego virus. Okay, and it is the deadly virus. It has 424 species till date. And this Bego virus, this genus Bego virus, is either monopartite or bipartite. In case of monopartite Bego virus, they have only one genome, that is DNA A. 
But in case of bipartite begum virus, they have two genome along with DNA A, DNA B. And these two DNA, DNA A and DNA B, both are necessary for infection. They infect many dicot plants and transmitted by white fly Vemisia tabasi. Okay, the type species is bin golden mosaic virus. Hear the name games. Okay, bin B E golden G O mosaic M O and virus. So the name is B G O M O virus. Okay, this is the type species of the genus Begum virus. Next largest uh, genus is Mastivirus. Okay, this Mastivirus has till date 41 species. This is monopatide, that is, it don't have a DNA B part and it is lipopot transmitted and monocot infecting plant. Okay, the type species is maize tree virus. Next genus is Cartovirus, which has three species, and another one is Bicartovirus. This has three species. Actually, uh, these two group uh, also infect beet crop. Okay, beet curly top virus for Carto, and for Bicarto, beet curly top Iran virus. The genome properties is somehow different, so this is totally separate genus. Both of them are monocot. Uh, monopatite in nature, dicot infecting, and leaf hopper transmitted. This is leaf hopper transmitted dicot infecting genuses. Next, Capula virus has four species, and the type species is Euphorbia, Caput, Medusi, Latin virus, Vablo virus, and Tencardo virus has three diseases. And a type species of Dablo virus is grapevine red blotch virus. And for Tancarto virus is turnip curly top virus. All of them are monopatide, that is having only DNA A part, no DNA B part, and they are all dicot infected. This is Topoku virus. This genus is a monospecies genus. Tilted having only one species, tomato pseudo curly top virus. They are monopatite in nature, leaf hopper transmitted and dicot infected. And the last genus is Eragrovirus, infecting Eragrostris carvula streak virus, the species. Okay. Eragrostris is a monocot infecting plant. So this uh, group is monocot infecting, monopatite in nature and white plant transmitted virus. Okay, these are the nine genera in the Geminivirity family. How this virus replicate? Actually, when this virus get infected into the host cell, in the plant cell, it get inside the cytoplasm and then inside the nucleus. In the nucleus, the decapsidation occurs and there, this single standard DNA goes for rolling circuit replication inside the nucleus. What happens during replication? During rolling circuit replication in first step, this single stranded DNA forms the RF as I already said, RF. And then in second step, it again goes into a single stranded DNA structure. Okay, this virus has no replicase or polymerase activity, so they depend on the host for this replication. And here inside this host cell, it comes out from the nucleus to cytoplasm, and there encapsidation occurs. How? Uh, if I go for electrophoretic study, we can see there are four structures. One is linear structure, lean, open circular OC, single stranded SS, and single circular SC. Actually, in two dimensional electrophoretic study, we can have different concatameric intermediate ranging from unit genome length to dimeric length. So, they form different type of structure. During this rolling circle replication, this positive strand of viruses. Actually, the replication starts from the stem loop structure. Here we find a nonanucleotide sequence, nine nucleotide sequence named as TAA, TAT, TAC. So, this start at tech, this sequence is the point of start of replication, origin of replication. 
create this virus starts this replication and form this rf dna okay and as the virus has no protein so uh, these rf formation from single stranded dna to rf this is totally host dependent phenomena next come to the genome organization of these viruses first the genome organization of begum virus the largest genus of this family okay begum virus is either monopartite having only dna a or bipartite in nature dna a and dna b for monopartite begum virus all the genes are present in the dna a and it is uh, capable of doing everything this dna a part shares up to 95% homology with all begum viruses so this dna a can be used as group detection probe probe for group detection in diagnostic purpose okay in the field and in the laboratory when we are going to diagnose different types of viruses and formation of diagnostics uh, this is can be used only for group detection not for species level detection for species level detection we have to go for dna b structure for bipartite one okay actually as i already said here is a intergenic region see the stem loop structure part this is orange uh, color one this is known as ir intergenic region this region is common for both dna a and dna b for this virus family okay and uh, this virus has six genes av1 av2 sc1 sc2 sc3 and sc4 the av1 gene this is the coat protein gene cpg gene okay this uh, gene product forms the capsid part the function of av2 is not well known till date sc1 is the replication initiation protein rep protein okay ac2 is transcription activated protein trap trap and ac3 is replication enhancer protein or rain protein you can see the ac4 is a overlapped gene present inside the ac1 but the function of ac4 is not well known uh, some of in some cases it can uh, show some symptom modulation activity where it, in some cases it shows some rain activated activities but uh, it is not uh, well known and we have uh, drawn this picture based on mukbin yellow mosaic virus that is a devastating the home virus family causing disease in pulses okay in case of bipartite begum virus we have second genome that is dna b part okay along with dna a it has another dna part that is dna b and this dna b shares up to 40 to 45% homology among viruses so the ecs can be used as pro for virus specific detection okay the ir part is common as well as in dna a as well as in dna b uh, it has two gene okay bb1 and bc1 what they do actually they are uh, in opposite direction and these bv1 and bc1 they are actually mukbin protein what happens during rolling circle replication at first when the single stranded dna comes out from the nucleus to cytoplasm here it has the bv1 gene product the protein has this type of movement from nucleus to cytoplasm or cytoplasm to nucleus inside the cytoplasm this bv1 gene product along with single stranded dna dna it uh, again combined with the bc1 gene product okay and here it forms bv1 bc1 complex that had inside it the single stranded dna and these complex then have cell to cell movement of the viruses okay and also uh, it also helps to come out in a cell from others okay but in case of monopartite begum virus when only one dna is present but in some cases in some of the diseases like cotton leaf curl disease okra yellow vein mosaic disease ageratum yellow vein disease mesta yellow vein mosaic disease here we found that beside the dna a part they don't have dna b part but 
they have some subgenomic DNA in some cases, not for all. In some cases, they have sub subgenomic DNA. And this subgenomic DNA has been size 1.3 kb. And look, it is just uh, nearly half of the size of 3 kb. Okay. Uh, because in case of Mr. Yellowbin mosaic virus, the DNA is 2.7 kb in structure. And the subgenomic DNA has 1.3 kb, half of the size. Okay. And this 1.3 kb uh, subgenomic DNA is known as beta DNA, satellite in nature, so satellite beta DNA. It can have another 0.6 kb structure, which is known as DNA1 or 0.75 kb structure. These subgenomic DNA are responsible for symptom modulation in host. Uh, I can say one story. Actually, when I am working with Mr. Yalabin mosaic virus, I have found that farm farmers are uh, really um, searching from viricide. How can they uh, stop this virus infection in the field? But in one year, when a, a typical yellow and mosaic symptoms is present in the field in the second crop season, we can see the symptom is somehow different from the earlier one. These symptom modulations is very common for the viruses having DNA beta. Beta DNA containing monopartite remove virus is prone to change their nature, their symptoms, their properties. So it is really hard to control them or manage them in the field. Okay. The virulence property uh, become aggravated uh, due to presence of these subgenomic DNAs. Okay, this is the genome organism for CAR2 viruses. In CAR2 viruses, we can see seven gene: V1, V2, V3, C1, C2, C3, C4. What happens? The V1 gene is coat protein gene. V2 gene helps gene product helps uh, double stranded DNA to single stranded DNA formation. So RF to single stranded DNA. And V3 is the movement protein. Okay. C1 is rape protein. The function of C2 is not well known. C3 is rain protein. And again, C4 is the movement protein. IR has same way. Uh, in case of mastery virus, these genus. Here we can see that IR region is divided into two parts, LIR, SIR. Secondary intergenic region is present here. Actually, is as SIR part involves in priming of negative stand, that is formation of RF and extra DNA fragment complementary to SIR. Okay, here we can find four gene products v1 v2 c1 c2 v1 along with v2 forms the coat protein the encapsidation occurs by the help of v1 gene along with v2 gene and v1 is also responsible for movement of the virus inside the host and the c1 and c2 both are rape protein and they also act in splicing of fused proteins okay how the replication occurs, as I have said, the replication starts in this intergenic region. Actually, this intergenic region is 200 base pair long. Inside this 200 base pair long sequence, we found 90 base pair long a stem loop structure. You see in green color, it's a stem loop structure. How it looks? Just have a look. Can you see it properly? Madam Shamina, can you see it properly? Yes, ma'am. We can yeah, see okay. it clearly. Madam, we can see oh. your PPT, ma'am. It's clear. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, look, this is the 90 base pair structure where the replication originates. Okay, origin of replication of positive strand. Here you can see in green color, this is a rape binding site. After that, you have a Tata box and then the AG motif and then the G box. Uh, okay, G series part. Inside the stem loop structure, here in red color, I have mentioned the nona nucleotide sequence. What I have said earlier, that is T A A T A T T A C. Ta tat tech. This ta tat tech sequence is the origin of replication in case of all Germany viruses. Okay. Uh, here I have uh, just put it an arrow. You can see the between T, T and A. That part, the first initial nick is formed for replication. What happens? Look at this structure. 
it diagrammatic picture you can see inside this nona nucleotide sequence between this t and a a single nick occurs and after that the virus replicate and forms a opposite direction cycle and forms this single stranded dna this single stranded dna can form a rf but for replication we what did actually the single stranded dna the pod rep it suppresses its own function and trap activates code protein formation so rf formation stops and then this single stranded dna virus goes for encapsidation the capsid formation occurs okay and uh, now i can uh, show you symptoms of some of other crops actually what happens why uh, we are talking about jimini virus in a loud voice nowadays cause the controlling of this virus is very very problematic as they are always show recombinations pseudo recombination and mutations and other things so when we are applying some management strategies in a year in the next year the virus changes itself and changes the symptoms and other things in the host so we can apply the same strategy second year we have to adopt another new strategies when we are going to adopt the strategies the virus itself then again changes itself so it is really problematic for the farmers and the scientists to manage and to control the virus inside the field and another problem is that actually for a virus disease for controlling we can theoretically say that use this virucide use this resistant variety but practically it is my um, personal experience and in all should agree with me that in the field actually when this virus occurs when when this virus causes disease in disease incidence and disease intensity so high that the prime farmers actually what do they just uproot the plant and burn it okay but when the main crop is absent in the field these viruses harbor the wheat plants as their secondary host and collateral host and inside the tobacco plant they just go on for their life cycle okay so as they adopt this a uh, wheat plants as their secondary host so again after two or three years when you are growing the crop they are again coming into this crops okay these are symptoms of the wheat host uh, actually you can see in left hand side that is ageratum yellow vein disease and in right side you can see cotton yellow vein disease see the same type of symptom yellow vein mosaic type of symptom here we can see many many host showing uh, actually uh, some of our cash crop some of our weed host proton side acuminata side rhomboid folia ageratum conjoides lycopersicon abel moscas that is another windy urena lobata it is also a fiber yielding crop acalypha indica is a weed host aplicta alba weed host nicotiana tabacum i have already said here i can uh, show you uh, symptoms of other plants gomphrena globosa is a weed host dolichos is a cash crop vigna mungo is a cash crop clitora it is also a weed as well as cash crop abutula indica it's a fiber yielding low yielding plants and uh, clerodendron is a weed host varnonia is a weed host cida is a weed host cortulus capsularis you know cortulus capsularis is jute it is tita jute and then hibiscus moschata hibiscus moschata is another fiber yielding plant and uh, it also just like windy windy plants okay Uh, malacra it it fruit is edible and it fibers is also used for some making handicrafts malacra is a wheat plant carica papaya fruit okay cortulus is another jute plant and hemidesmus is a wheat plant okay so how how actually what is the symptom i have said it is a phenotypic symptom but anatomically if we study uh, look it is a uh, uh, means in case of mesta plant you can see the healthy mesta plant is a bust fiber crop so it forms a phloem pyramid inside in anatomical study you can see it's a very beautiful phloem pyramid and the bust fiber in case of bust fiber this phloem pyramid how robust is that that is the quality of the fiber the nature of the fiber okay 
in, in the upper left side you can see the healthy pyramids is a beautiful one but in case of disease plant you can see the others the pyramid is totally destroyed sometimes it is not formed and few pyramidal cells are formed so it's a deformed structure so if we uh, can manage the virus and have some plants in a farmer's field but what happens the fiber quality is very bad so during infection the fiber in the fiber forms it is a very low quality so the farmers are showing reluctant to cultivate such type of crops when these viruses are present inside the field okay regarding the management of these viruses so once the virus uh, infecting the plants it is better to uproot the plant and burn it okay to destroy the host that is the only one but if i am cultivating a crop and after that whole uh, means uh, labor i have to burn the crop then what will be my means gain okay so prevention is better than cure for the prevention we have to think that if we can discard the vectors that is the white fly which is the main vector of these viruses we can destroy the vectors and then it will be a beneficial one for uh, control the virus vector emisia tabaci we can use many insecticides and but this insecticide has some residual effect on the crops so uh, for pulses we can use some predators i can show you pictures of some predators uh, first of all we can uh, use the wasps parasite wasps in cochlea and we can use macrolophus and uh, these bugs are predators on the white fly here we can see another predators that is aphidias or may be aphilodetes and we can use hippodamia or other parasitic wasps actually what happens uh, if in laboratory it is effective in laboratory we can use these predators to control the white fly vectors so that there will be no vector and no no virus infection okay but in field we have to depend for chemical control we can use different types of uh chemical insecticides to control these vectors midazolprid acrabimides and others there are others i am not going in details for that ectara is common you know we can also use biocontrol agent actually in case of pulses for uh, avoiding the residual effect of insecticides we can use this biocontrol agent that is bavaria or pseudomyces the these uh, biocontrol agents can control these uh, diseases in some respect but it is not as much effective as the insecticides here is uh, some other names of insecticides we we can use neem oil that is very effective to control the white fly or neem seed kernel extract and another one we have tried that is uh, another beneficial virus that virus known as rnmv rice necrotic mosaic virus this uh, virus this is a bimovirus this is not under gemniviridae family but this bimovirus is uh, causing disease in monocot but it is helpful for dicot when this virus infected plant sap can be induced uh, and in just uh, inoculated in the leaf of dicot plants it uh, forms some prion type of activities and here we can see the rnmv infected plants we call this rnmv energized plant they are more uh, resistant and the susceptibility goes some extent and is more resistant to viral diseases so such type of crop um, cross protection activities can also be observed in uh, such disease management programs okay here is the name of some resistant varieties for for different crops in cowpea tomato but i want to mention it is clearly though there are so many resistant varieties but it fails some very few of the resistant variety actually shows their resistance nature its resistance nature in field condition okay in laboratory condition maybe they are very good but in field condition farmers actually do uprooting and burning of crops when they 
show some infection in the field okay so here is the name of certain um western varieties okay watermelon cucumber french bean and this and uh, actually we can uh, control effectively the disease by uh, cultural control process actually what happens in our situation in west bengal the disease uh, the vector of the disease white fly the population of white fly is uh, huge in rainy season during july august september in, in august it goes a maximum peak so the vector is uh, numerous inside the field in that time if we can grow the crop in another time so we can avoid the vector population in that time so for that we can so the plants are here are you sowing is good but what happens uh, if we change the season of sowing the crop economic yield will reduce that is also problem we are uh, i am showing a uh, um, inside the picture you can see farmers are using net to avoid the white flies but it is not uh, that much effective okay so uh, that is all for uh, gemini viruses and i should uh, conclude now and if you have any question uh, please you can ask participants do you have any question can you post in the chat box as uh, i think most of the participants are from different background so uh, maybe they are not yeah correct ma'am they are from the different backgrounds both life science and biological sciences so like participants if you have any queries you can post in the chat box Uh, arpita ma'am can you just uh, flash your email id in the uh, chat box so that yes yes yes. Contact with you? yes 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 i i am i am i am sending okay okay I have already. Madam's email. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A R P I T A one zero C at the rate gmail dot com. Send it in chat box. Okay. Yeah. And that is my Madam's number email. also. Okay. If you have any question in future, you can ask me. Okay. If you have any questions in the future, as Madam said, her email ID is being flashed, and also her contact number is there in the chat box. You can very well contact Ma'am. Uh, she will be a very nice person, and she will be helping you on any part of your researches connected with the botany sciences, genetics part of a plant study, or uh, his research parts is focusing on her papers. If you see her publications, you can also see her. Uh, part of publication and other details in our facebook details also right ma'am am i right yes yes of course so, okay. of course like you can contact ma'am yes so and like, i think uh, he's the last lecture of uh, this mdp program yeah madam uh, we we'll have a small break and uh, yeah the participants so maybe the participants are tired <laughs> i mean so <laughs> many lectures okay So, not tired, ma'am. Like they are busy only because uh, I hear, I see a huge crowd, fifty-four participants over here. Uh, yes. They are very energetic and they want to listen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Muttalich. Okay. I want to congratulate you, Dr. Shamina, for arranging uh, such a beautiful platform. And uh, really, this type of MDP is really very important for us faculties. Yes. 
faculties it's very important thank you so much ma'am so there are many appreciation messages coming in the uh, whatsapp as well as in our uh, thing like uh, appreciating your lecture was very informative and good thank you ma'am for the presentation thank you so much we get lot you know we have a whatsapp group where people send lot of messages we get get through that ma'am right now so like um, the feedback link will be posted shortly and you can fill it so madam we'll have a validity section and the gas for the validity function is again dr arpita chatterjee with us so we'll be starting by 3 pm you can either stay connected or else you can have a break and connect in the same link because the same link is for the validity also so shortly by 3 pm start five more minutes we will start arpita ma'am okay thank you thank you i am i am and, here uh, i am here no problem yeah 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 ma'am yeah ma'am yeah ma'am thank you thank you Yes, Bhuvan Shri Ma'am. The feedback link for the fourteenth session feedback link will be posted shortly. So the feedback link is in the chat box. So I wish you can fill the uh, feedback of this particular session, 14th session alone. And participants like, uh, yeah, the feedback is there in the link. Thank you, Shiva Ganesh sir. Thank you, Manju ma'am. Thank you, Shiva Lambu sir. So all are giving some appreciation messages regarding madam presentation. Very informative and nice presentation. Thank you so much. So thanks to Arpita, ma'am, for the wonderful presentation, ma'am. Again, on behalf of RVS Biochemistry, so we thank you once again for the presentation, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you too. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you.